feel like nobody really likes that situation. It's kind of insulting, uh, but it is, you know, smart baseball. I mean, how we, you know, it's at 340 the last two or three years. Um, and, you know, I, I'm not really seeing the ball well right now. So it was smart on their behalf. Um, but yeah, when I was up there, I was all right, fired up. I thought, let's go, just get, get a ball up the middle um, and execute. And obviously, I swung like three light years ahead of the pitch. So, <laughs> is that the kind of thing that you, you know, this early in the season facing a reliever like that, is that a, a tough, how, how tough of an assignment is that? Or, or do you feel like there's no excuse? You got to, you know, no time to, to adjust to that kind of thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's really no, no excuse. I mean, all of us, I mean, I've seen so many strikeouts over the whole league. Um, and yeah, you can tell guys aren't really ready, but, um, you know, you can't use that as an excuse. You know, it's just a matter of like, okay, like these games count. There's no uh, taking a few months off and then turning it on and then, you know, you know, taking the division, stuff like that. Like this, the end of the year is going to come quicker than we think. So every game matters. Um, every bump play matters. Every execution matters. So, um, yeah, we're, we're all taking it pretty personal. Byron Kerr, MassInSports.com. Hey, Eric, so you talked about the struggles early on. So when you get into these situations where you feel like you're not seeing the ball well, what are some of the things you try to focus on to get back on track? Uh, a lot of it is, um, you know, going in the cage, seeing balls off the machine, um, quick BP, um, and just, like, getting at bats. Um, once you're used to, like, you know, picking up the spin, because, you know, right now, like, 92 looks like it's 98, and some guys throw 98 looks like it's 92, and it's kind of getting your eyes to adapt and get used to um, – different pitch speeds and different release points. Um, but, you know, I mean, I mean that, that all can change when a day or two at bats, you know. So uh, everybody's different, and, um, yeah, you just got to hang with them. And you won last night 9-2, to two and you guys are up 2 nothing today. I know obviously you want to win the series, but uh, is there some positives that you can build from, from this series this weekend? Yeah, um, you know, we got some great efforts from, uh, from our starting pitching. Um, I mean, those guys shove. I mean, I mean, it's no, it's no surprise in this city that you know, strength pitching does well. So, um, but for me to watch it personally, I was like, oh man, these guys did a really good job. They competed and they kept us in the ball game. Um, and you know, the lineup, you know, we executed. Guys got on base. We we got them over. We got them in. So, um, you know, it's pretty much what we do out here. So, um, you know, like I'm excited for uh, Toronto to come into town. Thank you, Jesse Docker, the Washington Post. And you mentioned uh, 92 is looking like 98, I think is what you said. Um, is there a way to simulate VLO going into a season before you actually see it? I know Davies mentioned, like, guys moving up to really close to the VLO machine to maybe get it up to, like, 99, you know, in their heads. I don't know, but is there is there any way to, like, adequately mimic that before you actually get out there? Um, yeah, I mean, like, you get off the, the pitching machine, turn it all the way up. You can move up, move back. Um, you can have a coach uh, throw a short BP, but, like, throw hard and you know, change speeds and all that stuff. Um, and, you know, you can put yourself in the best position to uh, be ready for the actual at-bats. Um, but when you get in the box, you have to have your plan and uh, you have to be able to execute that plan. And then you also mentioned earlier, like, this season's going to get late fast. In some ways it already is late because it's 60 games. Do you, do you almost, like, trick yourself into treating it that way? Like, does it, does it feel like this is a stretch run already or, or does it feel like the start of a season but you have to actually treat it as it's something different? Yeah, I mean, I mean, you can just see the moves happening now. I mean, guys are – you can tell some managers are like kind of um, working some of their players that had a late start. Uh, they're waking up to nine innings, but now it's like, okay, like, you know, with this coming up quick, you know, every game does matter. So uh, especially with the whole 16 team um, playoff thing. So everybody's fighting for that, um, for that title this year. So we're all going after it.